Oh no, it's a... Oh! This bull's getting a photo shoot. Cousin, he's buying a moment. Is he gonna get it? Got a wee party of cows following me this morning. Good morning, Holly. There we are, we can he? What a bee. That's all already done. Ah, you bad Yeah, we're stuck. Good morning. Good night on this year. So today's plan of action, we're heading to United Auctions, and um, which is a cattle and sheep market in Stirling, hopefully to buy some cows. So there's quite a few for sale, from bulling heifers to heifers in calf, heifers with calves of foot, cows with calves of foot. So there's quite a lot to choose from. So I'm gonna go down, have a look around, and just see if anything takes a fancy. Looking for about 10 or so at the moment, Probably cows or heifers with calves at foot just to head out onto the grass when they come back here I'd like to get more than that, but we don't really have the facilities to house them at the moment We need to do some work on that Does this mean I'm lazy? Putting the livestock trailer on the other day's question was what is this? It's called the jockey wheel So it's used for raising up the axle of the trailer off of the tow ball as well as joking the trailer about being able to move it and shift it because there's a wheel there. Right, we're good to go. Just shut these doors. Right, we're off to the races. You guys who watch Cammy from the Sheep Game, you'll see him quite often at United Auctions. But because he's playing with those wee white things, uh, you won't see him on the same day as me usually. I'll run into him one day, I'm sure. I've been told I need to speak a bit slower, more pronounced, and a bit more clear. I guess it'll probably help for non-Scots viewing the videos. Although I've not got much of a heavy Scottish accent. Just a wee hint. There's bull sales on today, that's why it's absolutely packed in here. 20, 50, Cousin, he's buying at the moment. Is he gonna get 20, it? 50, 80, 60. He got it. Right, we've managed to get a few. We've got three here in this pen. Three Simmentals with a limousine calf. So these three are heifers for calves at foot. So this is the first calf. Um, so we'll get them home onto the grass and then they'll go to the bull no bother. Calves look well as well. That was, that was the rest of them as well. We could have done with them, but the price just kept going up. So I didn't get those three. Someone else got those three. I got these three and I'm pretty happy. With There's a single elsewhere I need to go and find. Here's my other one. I got this from, this from a disperse also. She's about five year old. Just gonna put her in this pen up here, opposite the ones I've bought. That'll do her. It's very busy here today because there's bull sales on as well. So there's Angus, Charlie, Simmentals, there's all the bulls getting sold today. It's not the best bull sale, but it's a busy bull sale. This bull's getting a photo shoot. He must have won some prizes or went for some high money. Just sitting in a queue right now um, to get loaded up, so two more lorries to leave and then I'll get in, get loaded up and get away. Right, we're moving now. There's a couple of lorries just left, so I'll get in as well, as well as this one. These guys are pretty handy at reversing lorries and I, into some tight gaps. Helps with the fifth wheel. Don't fancy doing it myself. <laughs>
home time. Loaded off home now. So we'll get them onto the grass just as soon as I get home. Loading them, really nice cam beasts. Came off a farm in Falkirk. Kirkton Farm it's called. Quite often you get a wee bit of luck thrown in. Um, it's kind of a traditional thing where you get a five or a ten or probably used to be more, but nowadays a five or a ten or if you get anything, just to wish you well with the animal. So for the three heifers, I got a tenner each for them. All in all, happy with what we've got today. They were trading well, the price was pretty good. I mean, there was another three exactly the same as that from the same seller. It just the other three went, ended up going a bit higher than what I was willing to pay, so didn't end up with them. I had a look at the bulls while I was there, just had a wee half an hour watching the bulls getting sold. I think early on in the day um, with the Charleys, they were selling well, good prices. I went and watched when there was Anguses getting sold. The sellers seemed to struggle to get the price they were looking for for the Anguses. I mean, the champion Angus bull only went for 5,000, which you'd expect maybe 8 to 10, something like that. Not sure why that was. This isn't like the best bull sale in the year. This is a late one. Realistically, a lot of farmers are putting their bulls out now or within the next month or two. Four cows, four calves, so there's now 22 on the bit of ground, which is about nine hectares. So there's plenty space for them. It's not the best grass, so that's why we've kept it a wee bit thin. It could take maybe 35 cows and calves if it was good grass. So keep an eye on it. If it starts getting away, we could we can just get more, top it up, put some more cows on it. Right, someone's challenged me to touch this four times, hopefully get away with it. How far am I touch? Can I just go straight no, past it? No, 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 like I... No! I just have to touch it four times. Yeah, okay. Three, two, one, go! Oh. <laughs> Don't be a wimp. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, it's gonna zap me soon. <laughs> nah, I think you're being too quick. Oh, no, it's... A... Whoa! It's a bandit! Whoa! 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 I hope some of you got a kick out of that. I did. Whoa! Is it touch screen? No. Oh, I'm filming. Trailer off. I'm not going to wash it just now, um, but it needs a wash. Update on the map. I think I've got all the pins that people have put down below in the comments on here. So if you don't see your pin, then let me know. Not UK, ignore UK. I've still to buy a UK map. I've not done it yet. I'm looking for a big one. Otherwise, if you don't see your pin, then put it down below and I'll get a pin on here. Tell me exact places, not just Nevada, because Nevada's quite big. Tell me exactly where you're watching from. So that's the world map. And then I'm going to get a UK map there so we can get all the pins in the UK, because I think it's like 65% of the viewers about there, thereabouts, is watching from the UK. So it's not exactly going to fit on that map because the UK is tiny on that map. Question of the day. What's that? Right, I'll give you an update in here. So quite a bit more plaster work being done. And um, this is, this area in here is resembling rooms now. Two toilets, one, two. And then this room, which obviously you access from in here. I didn't actually realise that. There you go, there's the access in there. There's still no lights in here, but down there there is. I'll go through that gap, hold on. Oh, gee. I don't know if I fit through here. There we go. So the plasterboard's all up in here. That wall's gonna come down. Obviously, on these finished. There's the beam of the original shed. And it's exactly the same next door. So it's almost identical in here. So there's racking still to go in, which actually might be quite difficult, seeing as this is the only gap. Obviously that wall's coming down, but there's, there's racking on the other side of that or already up. So it's gonna be quite tight getting racking down in here. Hmm, we didn't think of that. Hopefully it'll work. 
So this area is left to put plasterboard up, which there's a pallet fall there, um, as well as in that corridor area. And then that's all the plasterboard and done. Windows are all in. Sealed from the elements, other than that opening here. This bin's not being closed, so when it's raining, obviously, it soaks up moisture and we pay for weight. So it's gonna cost us money to put wet cardboard away. Anyway. Also, the outside of this, so this is a moisture proofing membrane and then there's to be some form of special cladding put on due to the big fire at Grenfell down in London. They brought out new regulations to do with cladding on buildings. So we have to adhere to that regulation. It's not applicable to that building. It shouldn't be, but basically they must have put in a blanket regulation across all buildings just until they figure out all the ins and outs of it. So we have to do it. It's not going to make a difference. It's you're basically cladding a timber building. The timber's going to burn anyway. It doesn't make sense, but you have to do it. So anyway, we're doing that and then it'll get sheeted. It's corrugated sheets. Yeah.